Hey, what's good, y'all? Y'all already know what's going on, man. It's your boy, Kafir. I'm back again with another video. Excuse me, I'm saying. Whole process going up here. I mean, I'm in between washing my hair. Don't worry about this, though. You feel me? Worry about the video that we about to watch, but this shit is a little spicy. I'm not going to lie. That's um, how a viral TikTok video almost got a husband caught up. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, apparently he was on all type of bullshit. He was on, as we would say, demon time. You know what I'm saying? He was he was on everything that you shouldn't be on as a married man, apparently, allegedly, supposedly. You feel me? I don't know. I haven't I, I haven't seen this video. You feel me? But um, we're going to get straight into this, man. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You already know the vibes. Let's get into this, man. Let's see what all the chatter is about. This woman wanted to find a mystery man she met on the beach. She found him, all right, and his wife. He's now clearing <laughs> things up in the shape room after it nearly ruined his marriage. I'm Dustin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Yo, the shave room be really like the FBI, bro. Like, it's actually crazy how elite these niggas be at finding out information, bro. Like, they had to be trained in CIA, you know, shit back in the day. Like, I, I really, it's, it's no other way to put it, bro. Let's see what they talk about, bro. Last month, Miss Renee went on TikTok asking the world to help her find this mystery man she met in Miami in August. But things got messy when the world collectively found out <laughs> who he really is. Eight million people watched Misha Renee's TikTok with the caption saying, quote, TikTok, help me find this man I met in Miami. He walked right in the ocean to introduce himself to me. I was lit when he gave me his number. I'm counting on y'all. Hopefully he ain't married. The only reason why I did it is because I was on TikTok and I seen the popular trend that was help me find him. It was just simply just to reconnect. It wasn't anything more. Oh, but he is married for six years, in fact, with four kids. I tracked him down. This mystery man is Aiden Giles from the- Six years and four kids, y'all. Niggas be, oh, shit, I still got a soap in from from this up in my ear. Six years, though? Bro, you bugging. And why all why all light skinned bald niggas with a beard look the same, bro? Like I stamp this nigga looks like about three different niggas that I know, bro. Like y'all all look the same. No no bullshit. But you already can see in this Paul screenshot right now, his wife is she 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 done had it with this nigga. The Detroit area. That's where he got to say. No that. idea the video was posted at first. It was his wife Sheree who said why somebody texted her about the video. We just immediately started arguing because I started immediately started cussing him out. Like, bro, you really got me messed up. And I have asked, I said, did you sleep with him? He said, no. So she messages Misha directly. I said, did you sleep with him? She said, no, we literally only met at the beach. And that was what it. What is she doing this for? So I'm like, well, you looking for him this hard. Obviously, it was something to y'all. She's like, is that your man? I said, not no more. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> and then she was like, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, are you? I said, that's my husband. She says Misha apologized immediately in their messages saying, quote, sis, I'm sorry. I had no clue something would happen. First of all, let's shout out to them resolving this. Both of them beautiful black women, bro. Usually the women get it. They start to argue and they want to fight. They want to, you know what I'm saying, tussle with each other over what the dude do. It shouldn't be like that, vice versa. If, if they fucking up, let them, you know what I'm saying, handle their stuff. They they usually don't know. Usually if a woman cheating on a man cheating, they're doing it in a way that, I mean, if you cheating and they, they know, then they're like, what is the, what the you know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. I wish the best for you and your kids. I won't be reaching out to him. I'm sorry, I'm like, sis, you're done. I'm good. It was disrespectful. He's smiling Was it a lot. cheating? No, it was not cheating. But it was disrespectful because you're a married man. It's certain ways you move and it's definitely certain ways you don't. I did not know he was married. This I nigga's a clown. Married. None of this would even be a thing. It would just be like, okay, let's move on. Because if the shoe was on the other foot. You'd be mad. Because, Ada, you know, everybody is looking and, you know, not only you're a good looking guy. First of all, like, why is they they, they they chat look like they in like 2006 Uvu chat or something like Android shit like that? That was mad blur. We couldn't get a clearer reception. Like, you feel me? Like, what's going on over there? But um, 
Why well, it sound like he about to hit on his hit on his on um the the girl husband? Like you, you they already in a pickle. Why are you hitting on him? You feel me? But y'all let me know what you guys think so far. Like honestly, bro, she said they was like not together, but that I I believe that's cap. You know what I'm saying? Six years of marriage, although it's not cheated. I mean, although it was um to me is to me it's cheating, bro. Uh, me personally, if my girl is entertaining niggas in, in, in the slightest, it's cheating, bro. It don't matter what version it is. Yes, it's levels to cheating. Like, damn, nigga, you cheated. Like, that's automatic cutoff. But I'm going to keep it band. If I see my girl on a viral TikTok like that, it might not end it right then and there. But I think the thoughts and then the arguments and shit, eventually that will lead to, you know what I'm saying? Because... It's like, is you trustworthy? Like, this is what you do when you on vacation and I'm not around. That's all I'm saying. You got the muscle, my head muscle, and you hugging her tight, and so everybody is looking at that. I know, and, and that's, it sucked because I knew the video looked so bad, and I told her I wish I could put you in that moment because it was nothing like the video made it look. From her point of view, she said that you asked her for her phone number and invited her after and then she also said that um she lost your number and that's why you went to tiktok to try to yeah. find yeah yeah honestly no she didn't have my number she didn't even have my real name i didn't even know they were recording either so it had to be way off <laughs> all right sheree you rolling your eyes you're not answering the question Hey, I'm gonna keep it a bad bro. Buzz is a clown, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You gotta take this L. He not even look. It's one thing to do some shit, and it's another thing to take accountability for some. You can't do some shit like that and then not take accountability. As me as a person, anybody, it don't matter who it is, family, friends. If you do some 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 foul shit and you don't take accountability, bro, you already lost me right there. Cause I'm gonna be T even more like. Take accountability. This nigga talking about he didn't know they was recording. What does that got to do with anything? And then he said he didn't give her a number. That's cap. He definitely gave her a number. He just, he really just trying to play the story because he got caught, bro. Take accountability, bro. That's going to make it worse for you. I'm going to keep the man with you. You look old enough to, to know that, but I guess you don't. <laughs> because it's hard to say you don't, you don't know someone's recording you and you post it for a camera. Cause I hate unload dishonest people, bro. Like that's what that shit really irks me, bro. Um, like keep it a band with me, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying keep it, keep it a hundred with me. Like that goes for anybody. Um, 
at the end of the day, as a man, as a fellow man, uh, Buddy's cap. I'm gonna keep it a band with you. He's cap, bro. Like you, you knew what you was doing, bro. You knew you gave her your number. You knew all that shit, but hey, it is what it is. I hope, I hope, I hope, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they're family, you know what I'm saying? I hope they stay together, all that shit. But y'all keep accountability. When y'all in these situations, bro, just come up front, be real. That's, like I said, speaking for me, that's going to take you a lot further than you doing. To me, he was doing a lot of, it seemed like he was making light of the situation. That shit would have got me teed. If I'm, you know what I'm saying, if it was my girl, you know what I'm saying, doing that, making light, I wouldn't have liked that at all, you feel me? But y'all let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. You think he's innocent? Do y'all think he did anything more than, you know what I'm saying, what he said? And is this his first time doing it? I vote no. But y'all let me know in the comment section. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy, Kyle, for real. I'm out of here.